FMI is excited to announce the next generation of mosaic masonry fireplaces. The previous method required placing the individual bricks into the grids and then hand grouting each brick into place. This required three to four hours of field labor. We have developed a better process which removes most of the field labor required to install the real fire brick interiors. Mosaic masonry uses real fire brick. Unlike other fireplaces that use inexpensive poured concrete panels, we use real fire brick and the finished product looks just like a hand-built masonry fireplace. Today we're going to take you through the installation steps of this new process, so let's get started. Start with the top bands and cut your way down. The bands are made to hold the masonry walls to the fireplace. Cut a band and then remove one of the walls. Then we'll remove the rest of the bands and the front piece of cardboard off the fireplace. Today we'll be working with a 42 inch mosaic masonry. It is secured to the pallet, so we'll remove the brackets that secure the fireplace to the pallet and we can get started on the inside. These are the tools that we'll need to install our masonry interior. Using our cutters, we'll cut the tie strips that hold the bag with the installation instructions and the brackets. We'll take out the grout touch-up kit. I'm going to take the screens out, which we'll be installing later. We'll set the grate aside as we'll be installing that later also. The bottom brick of the fireplace is secured with three brackets. We'll now remove those shipping brackets and we'll discard them as we won't be needing them later. Once the brackets are removed, we're going to take out the protective cardboard piece on the bottom. We're going to cut about 12 inches off of one end of it and put it back into the fireplace. We'll use that to protect the bottom so we don't have any footprints or scratches. We're showing the bottom of the side brick here. This is your gas knockout hole. This is the index tab for installing the masonry wall. On the front edge, you can see the keyhole concrete channel design. These are reinforced with steel mesh. And then the whole front edge is precisely mitered for a good tight fit. Now we're going to install the left masonry wall. You want to place the wall inside the fireplace and position it so that the tabs are lined up with the slots in the bottom of the fireplace, as you can see with the red arrows. Once they're lined up, we'll just lift the side wall into position, then we'll take a simple bladed screwdriver and adjust it so that there's a good tight joint between the sides and the front lead-in bricks. Then we'll install the right hand side, the same way we did the left, and we'll move on to the back wall. Again, the back wall is slid into position, adjusted with the screwdriver so that you have the right joints, and now we'll install the retaining bracket. The brackets for the back wall go in between the metal and the brick, and the holes for the screws are already punched into the sheet metal. Keep in mind that the back brackets are different than the side brackets. Once the brackets are installed, we're ready to do the screens. The screens are important to keep ashes and sparks from flying out of your fireplace. Simply slide the screens into the mounting area. We'll secure those with one screw. We'll move to the right hand screen and installs the same as the left. And now our screens are ready to go. Now we're going to do the finished grouting on the inside of the fireplace. We'll pour a little bit of water into our bucket and then using the grout touch-up kit you'll find a bag of cement and a bag of sand. We'll mix those into equal proportions in our bucket. You'll want to take something and get this to a nice consistency. Take a little time mixing it up. Add a little bit more water to loosen it up a little bit so that the grout flows nicely out of the grout bag onto the grout joint. Now that we've got a nice consistency, we'll take our grout bag and put a little bit of the material in there, not too much. And now we can take our grout bag. We've cut the tip of the bag so that we have the right diameter of grout joint. We'll close the bag up and make sure that the material flows through the tip of the bag so that we don't have any difficulty applying our grout line. Now we're going to start in the top left hand corner and work our way around the joints that we created when we put the masonry walls into the fireplace. Then we'll take a joint striking tool and shape the grout joint. You also want to push the material into the gap so that you get plenty of the cement into the gap. And 
And once we strike all of the joints and get a nice smooth joint, we're going to take a paintbrush and we're going to clean the joints up. Make for a nice clean finish on the inside of the fireplace. Now we're going to install the brackets that hold the grate into place. We're going to measure for proper location. The dimensions are in the installation instructions as they vary by size. Find out where our holes need to be, and then we'll take a 1 8 inch masonry drill bit and drill pilot holes for the masonry fasteners that are included with the brackets. We'll get the brackets in place over our pilot holes, and then we'll install the brackets with the masonry fasteners. And there you have it, a beautiful finished mosaic masonry fireplace.